I'm just complaining a little bit that the map might have a little bit too much of the long note side, but other than that, they are just being great. They are pretty um, solid in terms of every single regard. Like, you have a little bit of everything, and everything is challenging enough for the players to consider banning. So, that's what all the map also look like. All I'll say is, I had a lot of fun watching these maps. That's all I'm <laughs> gonna say. Is USA strong this year? Well, you might very well be able to see that today in some hours because they have to prove their strength against the Philippines. So better see that trusting a commentator mentioning about it. <laughs> uh, they did place top in Group A though. They only lost three maps. Um, how did they do it? They went five two against Russia or Russian Federation, five zero against Australia, and five one against Thailand. So they did pretty well. So, I believe we are about to start with a match as only 3 minutes are remaining. So, we might very well drop the Q&A already. For those who are wondering, uh, although I believe the commentator's uh, command is a little bit outdated. So far, commentating we are Deadbeat and myself on Crystal. <laughs> I'm evening, I obviously say so in my thought. Thank you oh, very much. Hello, Vinny. Would you hello. like to tell us the map? Oh, you actually know the map. Damn. <laughs> oh, well, well, let's see. Well, first of all, we, we found this really good converted map. It's so good. You're going to love it. <laughs> actually, the tiebreaker, too, so you can thank me for that one. I don't know anything about this pool, but I want to see the tiebreaker. I don't even remember what it was now. Like, I actually don't remember. I'm gonna find out. Hmm. I don't know, in any case, I'll be closing the Twitch chat because my computer is not good enough to tank a lot of things at once. And let's see the tournament climb once again. I can still bring up anyone. Anyway. Ah, uh, okay, I remember what it is now, yep. I think people will like it. Definitely, everyone want to see a tiebreaker. I'm actually curious what would happen if tiebreaker or like anything in the map will ended up being a converted map. Oh what? No. No, I would actually love to see what would happen. It's never gonna happen, but I would love to see what would happen. Why would you? Like no. But like could you imagine the reaction? I mean, do you remember those moments when we did team showcases and we used it like uh, out of combat <laughs> replay? That's probably what will happen. And probably I destroyed. Yeah, probably multiply that for ten because it's map four. In any case, head job on that one. <laughs> I think we are ready to start here. Like we are just in time to start between China and France. And we have the rosters already into the room. Here we have Sang Fang, Philosophorum, Cappuccino for the Chinese side, and into the French we have Elementaires, Antoa, and Bobby Ho.
Alright, so I believe we should be ready to go with the first warm up. And once again, these guys just want to mess up my pronunciation. This is Junju Gonen no Yuki Sakura. Close this is enough. a song from BMS. Yeah, close enough. Are you familiar with this map? I don't think so. In general, I'm not really that familiar with uh, seven key maps in general. Like, I know the song, but I don't know the map. I don't think I know either. For what I can tell, uh, seems like it has... I'm not sure if this is my computer having a little bit of lag. But it seems that those are legit SVs, and they are kind of like stops, so interesting. I mean, the members are both kind of fun. I mean, some patterns they are pretty nasty though. This, those like a back and forth stairs, they were fast enough to cause some uncomfortable like hidden jacks like even though they were not like mini jacks per se, but they were they are pretty uncomfortable to hit in general. But uh France is not doing bad at all here. They are actually close to take the lead here. Scaffuccino finds himself a miss into this uh, tricky short long nose section. But the inverse. Oh my goodness! Everyone's just getting destroyed by the spatterings. No one keeping the combo up. And this clearly favored China as friends drop the accuracy by a ton. Elementus was holding like a 98, close to 99, and now he's barely hitting the 97s. Same goes for Antoa. And alright, this core section, this core heavy section is kind of hitting a Sangfang, but the difference is just too big here. Like, besides Bumping Ho still holding quite nicely into this, won't be enough. And China will just take the first warm up. Hopefully, when it comes to the actual um, maps, we won't see differences of like 180,000. I think it's a pretty convincing win. Uh, France was keeping up quite well though, so if they train the map well enough, I could very well see something weird happening in this match. So we shall see here. I mean, there's still no CERN, so China doesn't have CERN at, his, at their disposal, at least for now. We didn't see him. He might just be resting or warming up by his own. But if China doesn't have CERN, that's a pretty big loss. And France should definitely take advantage out of it. We have the second warm up selected. This is a symmetry. I don't know, man. I have here so many different songs that are called a symmetry. You have the real one, you have this one. Uh, there's another one that I don't remember the artist, but it's completely different to this. But I think it was like a TV size opening or something. I think so Rio I don't know anymore. Did the symmetry as well, didn't they? Yeah, there's a version from real. Yeah, I think but that's that the one that is... I mostly know. Yeah, that's probably the well known no. Oh, like I think it is a. Um, a Vocaloid though, I, like, it was popular for the Vocaloid, they just re all made a cover out of it. Oh yeah, this is actually the one that I was talking about, this is like the anime version, but it's just a little bit speeded up, I think. I have a full combo on this one on standard. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. 
This is this is play with double time, right? I I mean it is double time. Yep, it is double time. <laughs> I was already wondering why it was so fast compared to the version I knew. I just thought it was a speed up version, but it just seems to be um, double time. But this also seems to be the full version. Right, it's not very often in any of the World Cups we see a, uh, a double time. I just double time used for a warm up. Very rare. Yeah, definitely um, a choice. In general, we have been seeing weird choices for the warm ups. Besides song selections and memes aside, we saw some hard rocks as well. Now we're seeing some double time. So interesting. To say the least, this clearly favors China though, as the, in the speed rebar they are definitely stronger, uh, no matter the circumstances. And you can just see that by looking at the scores right now. Yeah, I mean, China to take a bit of a lead here. Not to be surprised though. I'm actually wondering who picked it for up. I think it was. Friends? I would be surprised if it was friends, but China was actually complaining a little bit of the difficulty level of this, so might be China who would pick the first one instead of this. We will probably need confirmation for uh, the tournament stuff. Alright, well, I've lost them, sir. Maybe soon we'll get some confirmation on that one. It doesn't really matter too much anyways, but... Oh man, those in double time, those answerings. Ouch! Well, just look at the accuracies, man. Like, no one is holding an A rank on France anymore. And you even have an A rank on the Chinese side. I think Element Furies is a good for B. Well, Anto are his. Yeah, both Element Furies and Anto are both your FFT now. And they go funky enough. We're well, also definitely starting off this one. We've said both teams earlier. Not very often we see no one holding an S rank. Am I seeing what you are seeing? No. Element periods? Yes. Yeah. That was one of the weirdest bugs I've seen so far. I bug? I think he's just a plan. Or. Oh. Yeah, I think I see what you mean now. Yep. So let's see the rolls. We have a 25 here for France. Not looking good for them. Mm, let's see, let's see. I mean, I mean, 25 is still better than what career rolls are. Well, Combine both rolls and you get a hundred once again, 25 on 75. France takes the first ban. Pink roll, it's been a pretty popular ban. Yeah, I think Korea banned that last game. I'm not sure if it was a Milky Way or if it was a Pink Gold. I think it was Pink Gold. That should reconfirm. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. Wow, China banning double Gengar? Okay. We won't have some crazy as being actions. I mean, it actually makes sense if they are not really prepared because that's a map that you can easily lose if you didn't train on it. Oh, 
Oh, and the first pick is going to be Sora no Senwitsu, one of the most accuracy-oriented beat maps, I believe. If I recall correctly, this is a map by Arquin Olivirus. Yeah, this is a good mix between consistency, speed, and accuracy. 186 BPM and a length of a minute and 36 seconds. So, China looking for the fast first victory here, but we shall see. If France can actually keep up at this level of difficulty, I'm looking this to be a favorite for France. Shall see though, if that ends up being the case or not. But like all streaming at 186 might be a little bit too much, at least for uh, one or two of the French players. Like I can see Antoine struggling a little bit on this, uh, maybe Elementors too. But if they are actually trained enough to perform well on this, I believe France can take down China on this. So, not a particular fan of this pick, but not uh, against it either. It's a, an edgy pick. that you have Lycor streaming is taking action as I was mentioning Antoa seems to have some troubles keeping up with this level of difficulty but same goes for Sang Fang actually the accuracy difference is clearly in favor of, of, of I was about to say South Korea <laughs> in favor of China by one point of percentage but the slow jumps here ooh, finding a break first one of the match there and it's in favor of China France finding the first maps here with Antoa but they are not that far off, and they might just take it back. Half of the map is still remaining, and a miss is deadlier than other map selections, so you can tell that just by looking at the difference right now between these two teams. I think this actually, why France is not doing bad. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've seen um, Hidden as well. Yep. I think we threw it a bit last weekend, but it's still good to see people using warm-ups. Uh, warm -ups? Mods. Outside of group stage. Yeah, Cappuccino has been using hidden so far, but seems to be provoking a miss though. And when you miss with hitting, it takes time to recover the hit position. And there goes a miss from Philosopher, and Fresh might just be able to call it back. But the map is close to be over, and the accuracy from Antoa won't be enough to support that advantage that they just gained due to the misses on the Chinese side. And they will take the first point. The Asian team's stars taking the first one. Mostly due to the accuracy here. Oh, like, the misses was in favor of France, but Antoa was so behind on accuracy that it couldn't really matter too much. 114 to 100. That's probably way too much. But again, as I was mentioning, China is doing surprisingly not as good. As, you, as one would normally expect. This matchup, if France can somehow take an advantage of the accuracy from Elementors and Bumpy Ho, and if Antoa can just keep up a little bit more, like just one point of accuracy more, that will probably be enough to take China. But with selections here, France is going for move real slow. And seems like there will be a player sub. Antoa will be replaced by Charlie's map card, I assume. This is probably a target to Cappuccino, actually, now that I think about it. Because given the slow jam sections, reading them with hitting is an absolute nightmare. And if China doesn't have a replacement for Cappuccino, it might be a really difficult thing to do for the Chinese to win this. And again, I'm messing up with China and China. <laughs> I just can't do anything about it. One day I'll get there. One day. Have a dream. Uh, the team is different from last year's, right? Um, I think both teams do have a lot of differences. I think yes. France is actually quite similar. Like Elementarius, Bumpino, and Charles's Mad Cut were both here last year. I'm pretty sure that was China's was as well. Yeah, China's pretty similar. I think they had like one or two changes. 
but I remember Sang Fang, I think he was. I'm not sure if they, he was the last year, but I'm sure about CERN, about uh, LG Candile. Um, I don't remember if there was anything or anyone else. I think there was else. Um, Should probably have to reconfirm that. Last year was CERN, Zhang Fan, Cappuccino, Ballastia, um, Andy Lee, and Sweet Soul. This year we've got Zeng Fan, Cern, um, Philosto, Cappuccino, Andy Lee, Kaguya. Although I th think there was a name change in this somewhere. Might be I'm the not case. 100% sure. Alright, so far this is not looking good for France, although it is their pick. They are finding constant misses here. Charlie's Mathcat. And Elementaries both have been a lot of trouble into the early sections here, causing them to lose the lead and a banish besides the miss from Philosophorum. But now we're entering into the long nose section and kind of a slow piece, slow jams. And there you have really tricky slow jams here. Charlie's Madcat is having a lot of trouble with this one in particular. And Capuchin is actually not going with Hidden. What a surprise. I didn't notice earlier. As you can see, he's having some issues when it comes to keeping a constant hit uh, bar into the Judgment Bar. But even with that, they are still holding the lead. Third into the map. And China is doing reasonably well, having their own problems. But mostly due to Charlie's map cut being on the 97s, they are managing to edging this out and taking advantage out of it. But there are still half of the song remaining and some of the slow chance are still yet to be taken. And it might be the point that France needs to come back. Ooh, that is we call it. That caught Charlie's map card unaware, causing him a break. But Sangfan was also not well prepared on it, as he found his as 100. And now again into the slow jam section, China finds two breaks. And Charlie's map card is once again having troubles. He's holding the lower accuracy, so the misses are not as hurtful as they could be from Bumpy Ho, for example, who just finds the miss himself. Not looking good because they are now twice and Elementary City only one keeping the 1300 combo right now. And the map is close to a conclusion and Charlie's Madcard is not being able to recover here as he finds break after break after break and China will just take an a quick advantage out of it and they are leading by so many points at this rate and I don't think they will lose it. It was a close fight but friends couldn't make it out. Well, I mean, at least it was a good close strategy. Fight. At least it was a close fight. Yeah, it was a risky pick, but I don't think it paid off. And it was close to pay it off. They didn't win the pick, obviously, but for some instance, they were really close to taking the lead. And it was more about a run. I believe Charlie's Michael was a pretty bit nervous in his aspect because keep in mind that just entering a match with doubling the one mouth, with doubling at all against a team like China in one of the harder maps in the pool. Definitely something you have to watch out your nerves for. And ended up being a little bit too much for Charles, I believe. So, first breakpoint of the match already, but this is looking a lot closer than the previous one. I'm mean, guessing there are still a few maps to go, so. Yeah, hopefully, we have a lot of maps still. But this is Mickey Way, once again one of those that we didn't see so far. So this is probably one of the most average and standard maps into the pool. I believe this one was also a warm-up selection on the group stage. I don't remember the match, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. Um, this is a mix of the pick. Like it has, it is mostly long no oriented, but you have some mini jacks, you have some shields, and some complex ending uses in general. But 
in general it's just um, like quite standard. It's like if you're used to play ranked stuff, this is probably the the closest thing you have in the pool to the stuff you see often in the ranked section. I'm like, uh, just kind of happy that with three maps and with three and we've seen three new maps. It's quite good that there's uh, already a lot of variety and what's being picked up. But for now, as per usual, it does look like China does have a bit of an early advantage here. Yeah, really slight one though, and as a miss from 3 Lost of Horn takes place. Friends was so close to take it back, while well, Elementary has found himself a break just after that. So, notifying the possibility over there, accuracy-wise, China has a slight advantage, and that is the only reason why they are ahead. Into the double stair seems like Charlie's map could find himself a miss. And one third of the map is the only thing that remains right here. The accuracies from China are still high enough to keep up the lead and ramp it up as Elementaries and Charlie's keeps finding misses themselves. Bummy who's fighting for their own and trying to bring friends into the 2-1 situation. But the draws from friends are still going on and Bummy who finding himself the break just at the end will definitely end up sealing the chances for friends to take this one. A Sam Fan will claim the full combo in his favor and the point for China. But in any case, that seems to be it for Milky Way, also once again one of the closer ones. Only one full combo here by Tsang Fang with 16 200s. Other than that, Bumpy Ho doing a really good job for the French team. Only two misses, 200 and 150 with 16 200s. Same goes for Tsang Fang in that regard. But the best score right here goes for Cappuccino with the hidden only four 200s and two misses. The raid should definitely proving out to be one of the most important things on score B2, as with the two misses, still manages to take the best score compared to the full combo from Sang Fan. So, what do you think we might see next? Because I'd like to see something else, maybe. Well, I don't want to ruin your fun, but we have Kyori Itai. This is a selection by friends, instantly going for it. I mean, I'm okay with that. So, TV Size World Cup, men, bring the memes back, and we have Kyori Itai from Hunter x Hunter. I mean, I wouldn't call this one of the easier long no picks out there, even though the Master actually thinks that. Uh, I think this is uh, complicated enough for China to mess up with, as it is a long no oriented selection. Combined with so gimmick is in terms of SVs and slow jumps. So, the slow jumps we saw so far that China has some difficulty. But we also saw friends like Elementaries and Charlie's Matka having issues with it. So. This might be an equal matchup, but I think France can take this one. I mean, there's definitely a chance that they can, so... We will have to see. Once again, Cappuccino going for the hidden. But finding himself a break just in a slow jam, single for Philosophorum, and due to that, friends will take a huge lead into the early beginning. The scores are starting to jump back and forth a little bit due to the miss from Elementaries, but another miss now for Philosophorum just to counter as 
the miss by the French elementaries and philosophers are just trading mystics once again. But this time it favors China a little bit as Charles and Bambiho are both dropping accuracy, but Cappuccino isn't. Oh, that's a really unfortunate bit by Charlie's mouth, because I believe he overhauled one of those, causing him to drop, and once again starting to drop the ball, not looking good for friends. The map is close to be over, only a quarter of the map remaining, and the SV is taking once again a miss from Charlie's, and another one, and another one, not looking good for friends. Sang finally dropping the full combo, the last one remaining for China, but the advantage right here is too big to cause an issue. Besides the four misses in a row from Cappuccino over there, I don't think it will be enough, but Friends is definitely putting the fight at the end, but Elementors and Charlie's mouth cut, both finding drops in the last, in the last long nose section, will be a dead sentence for Friends, and China will be now in match point in their own pick, 4-0 on the lead. And that was a crazy match. That was a crazy match. I, I was really hoping for France there, because they had a pretty good solid lead at the start, but... He just sadly couldn't keep it. It was a good selection though. I'm, I'm pretty confident it was a good pick. They just didn't hit the mark. Like, they were a little behind and expected. But Friends School very well took this one. Those drops from Cappuccino on the long nose section, he completely mistimed those four holes at the same time. And four misses at the exact same moment are way more punishing than any of the misses we saw from Elementors on Bumping Hope. But it was not enough. Charlie's and Elementors at the end, they ended up dropping again, causing the death sentence to take place. China will now pick a romantic layer to seal the deal. Okay, so this is the first map to get picked twice. Was not expecting this one actually. I thought there were a few other maps that get picked up twice first. I mean, Romantic Lady is not necessarily a bad pick, as it is a, a short map once again. I don't really particularly agree with that regard because France has been showing better facts in the shorter maps. But this is also a long nose selection, so I'm not too sure what China's thinking about this one in particular. I will have to go for like something else, like maybe X that. Maybe they're just in the mood for some noodles. Or Hesperid. Yeah, makes sense. But still, I mean, you have to keep an eye that you still have to win, so you don't really want to give the other team chances. Although, right now, China is definitely on the lead. No misses whatsoever, but the accuracy from Charlie's math code is once again being the main problem from France, 98%. Although I, I will call that he's doing a lot better in accuracy than uh, what we saw in the group stage. So you can see the training. It's not being quite enough, but it's remarkable. And I would love to see France taking at least one point with a drop from Philosopher and that dream might take place, but the scores are still not flickering as the accuracy from Philosopher is high enough to not take any damage out of the mess, but there are two misses in a row against one from Elementaries, so friends will slowly try to edge that gap, but this long nose section just completely obliterating the French team as they kind of lost all the hope in just one pattern. It took less than one second to destroy friends in that one, and China will just take the match and the qualification into the semi-finals winner's bracket with a beautiful full combo from Sangfen and Cappuccino. 8-200 from Sangfen, 11 for Cappuccino. Philosopher having quite a big amount of issues over there, but Elementaries and Charlies found themselves a lot of breaks in that long no transition. And due to that, China will advance with a clean sweep victory against the Europeans and will face the winner between the United States and the Philippines into the semi-finals winner's bracket. For France, they'll have to wait and face the loser of it. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a chance there for France to catch up after the uh, after China missed there, but France's accuracy just wasn't really up to par. Like, they were just 
so far behind Nekers, they just they miss me nothing. Oh well, yeah. Interestingly enough, this was actually a faster victory than what we saw in the match from South Korea. Nice. I hope this doesn't continue. I hope so too. <laughs> I mean, I think the next uh, two matchups should be a lot closer though, so hopefully we should see some more potential closer matches. Although I'm probably not going to hold my breath with Tiebreaker. I think that might be pushing it a bit this weekend. I mean, if you see a Tiebreaker, it has to be on the Chile versus Indonesia or the um, US versus Philippines. I mean, uh -huh, there are only the two matches remaining, but from the beginning, those are the matches you expect them to go closer. So yeah, I mean, we might see closer matches into the next ones. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the closer one if we have to pick one of them. I mean, if Chile can actually make it, because I think they will, I will call that that match is going to be closer than the US versus the Philippines. But we have to see it. I mean, we shall see. So, yeah, so up next we do have Chile vs Indonesia. What do you think about this one? Just in general? Well, like I said, I think it's probably the closest thing we will have to tiebreaker. And I think um, both teams are pretty equal. Those teams are both high seeds, so that's a point to consider as well. Indonesia might have a little bit of a stronger time against Chile due to the um, big roster that they have and they might make some st uh, strategic player swaps that Chile cannot afford to do as they are only three players and of course speaking the weakness for Chile are bigger yeah, Speaking oh. of strategic swaps, I'm going to get replaced by Nivrad I believe Tactical swap <laughs> Tactical runaway Hello Nivrad, how are you? Uh, hello Hey man, good to see you. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that match uh, between China and France. Oh, it's no problem. We it, it was a pretty fast match though, so 